close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch the breath all the way in, all the way out. Try to stay with each breath as it comes in and goes out. Try to make the mind as still with the breath as you can. There's going to be a lot of activity today and tomorrow, so it's good to take some time to rest, get the mind centered, get the mind still so that it's not running around all the time. People, other, people outside you may be running around, but you don't have to run around. Stay right here. When the mind comes from a place of stillness, okay, you're benefiting in two ways. One is that other people come in with their greed, aversion, and delusion, but you don't meet them with greed, aversion, and delusion. You meet them with stillness. A lot of their stuff would just drop right there. You don't have to take it in. And of course, there's the question of what's coming out of your mind as you're contributing to the activities of the day. Okay, you're coming from a place of stillness. You're coming from a good place, a place where it's easier to see what should and shouldn't be done, what should and shouldn't be said, even what should and shouldn't be thought. And you've got the strength to go with what should be done and stay away from what shouldn't, even though there may be ordinarily an impulse to say or a few things that are not all that skillful, or do a few things that are not all that skillful, but you, the more you think about it, the more you realize that that doesn't help anybody. It doesn't help you, it doesn't help other people. As the Buddha said, when we're mistreating other people, okay, we're hurting ourselves. So you want to make sure that nothing bad comes out of your own mind. So make the mind still and try to maintain the stillness as much as you can as you go through the day. In this way, when other people come in, they're all excited, they're all upset about something, you can calm them down. If they come up and they're on fire, you have water to put out the fire. And that way we can work together and make a lot of merit together. That's what these days are all for. Is that it gives a chance for everybody to work together and make merit together. It creates a sense of fellowship, a sense of belonging to a larger community. We're not here just for ourselves, we're here for the larger community. And it feels good when we all get together like this. But there's always the problem that when we get together like this, people aren't just bringing their good qualities with them, they're also bringing a few other qualities as well. So on the one hand, you have to forgive them and forgive yourself. On the other hand, you have to make sure that their unskillful thoughts, words, and deeds don't make inroads on your mind, because then it's going to come out in your actions again. So try to make this a still place, and anything that comes in is not good, it can just go right past, right past, or it just drops on the ground. When people say things, remember, it's their karma, it doesn't have to go in, in, in beyond your ears. Doesn't go have to go deep into the heart. As for your own karma, you want to be very careful about what's coming out. So make sure it's coming out from a good place, like a nice still place here inside. So try to maintain the sense of stillness, in spite of what other activities are going on, and you'll find that you come through the experience with, with a lot more merit. Because after all, there's the merit of generosity, there's the merit of virtue, and you can also add the merit of meditation as you try to keep your mind with the breath as you go through the day. And that way your merit can be complete.